pleased is uh, uh, David Ben Shabbat, the managing uh, director of this uh, research uh, uh, institute in which uh, we are sitting at the moment. He's in, an independent uh, philosopher of language and a dedicated interdisciplinary uh, scholar. And uh, he, his uh, research focuses on the evolution and uh, social theological implications of the uh, Hebrew language uh, cosmology. So, David. Everybody familiar with Faulty's, John Cleese, mm -hmm. Faulty's Hotel? Mm -hmm. That's how I feel right now. <laughs> now play with the sound, mm -hmm. and now I have to say something intelligent. Okay. So I will, I'll try. We did not coordinate one more word with uh, who will talk before me and about what. And, um, you know, thanks to the painstaking work of people like Noam Mizrahi, people like me can speculate freely. <laughs> so, today I'm going to explore and demonstrate a phenomenon unique to Semitic languages and to Hebrew language in particular. A careful research of which can tell us a lot about ourselves. A targeted use of the phenomenon can even contribute to solving open questions in the region study, like the one related to the Dead Sea Scrolls and the polemic around the identity of the authors. I will begin with an elementary elementary demonstration of the phenomenon for our guests who are not speaking and uh, not fluent in Hebrew and also for our friends who and colleagues uh, who are fluent in Hebrew as well. <laughs> 